Sure, if I was further north, yeah. I guess summer would be the optimal time to go outside, but good heavens, no. I think I might die out there. I think I might die in here. That's an entirely different subject. Apparently, I saw this in the paper. Apparently, Florida is number one for death by lightning strike, and it's double the second place, which I think it said was Texas. Which is both hilarious and frightening at the same time. It's like, welcome to Florida, but then you're like, I don't want to be here anymore. Anyway, you might notice we leveled a bit. Uh, you get like 300 XP or something ridiculous like that per fight in this place. So I did a few fights, and that's the thing. So I'm gonna use a tent, and then save. I should've used a tent before we started, but I forgot. Winter here is alright. It's cold for me, but that's because I'm used to, like, sweating all day inside with the air conditioning on. But, uh, winter, the lowest it usually gets will be about 45 to 50. Which is cold for me, but a lot of other people will be like, wow, that feels great. And I imagine it does. That's better than summer, to say the least. I prefer autumn myself. I'm an autumn kind of guy. Um, I forget exactly what you have to do in this place. So we're just gonna run around until something happens, basically. I think there's a thing, yeah, there's a thing you have to pull. And then you have to run to the other side or something, and then you fight a dude bro. And then dude bro tries to kill you. We already have chain metal, though. What did we just pick up? Chain plates. Devil killer not terribly useful for us. If that was the actual chronology of seasons. It's close! Not quite, though. You're gonna go do a lunch because yay, Texas. I just did a lunch. I had tuna. Tuna sandwich, specifically. I like tuna. I am a fanzicle of tuna. Hello. Gargan rule. He needs to shoot his lunch though. Hey man, Texas is a great place. Have you seen their economic growth? They're all over that. Hello? Next, we must halt it with another pulley pulley thing. Uh, Kasha's American, so I imagine she's using the superior Fahrenheit measurement. Was it down this way? No. Taught, you're worthless. Why would you measure an F? Because she's American? That's what we always measure it in? Oh my god, food! I like how startled it is. It's like, ooh, food. No one likes Fahrenheit. Eh. It's what we use. We use it. Move on. Stupid Yanks. Well, that's quite the insulting statement. Fair in depth. <laughs> if you're measuring temperatures in Kelvin, you're doing it wrong. Squeak. Be safe, princess. This tunnel totally won't have something that will try to murder you. Also, it's not 4th of July. It's Freedom Day. It's the way we're, we spread freedom with explosives. Don't you know how this works? Jesus, man.
<laughs> you like temperature to be about 300. That's the optimal living conditions. Yeah, it's the, it's the same scale, it's an offset, which is the thing, why do you need an offset for freaking, like, living temperatures? Freedom Day? Rematch? You would horribly lose this rematch. I don't even know why you would want a rematch. You, you lost when we were drastically weaker than we currently are. Freedom Day is best day. See? Hall knows what's up. I believe there's some decent stuff you can steal from this guy. I also believe he can poison? I think that may be the ability that poisons. You're alive now, we'd win for sure. I don't know about that. To win 273 is cold and... What was it? 317 is hot and scale is off for casual use. Oh, it slows. Okay. I don't believe I can remove that. I can protect, but... Oh, it turns on. I'm not paying attention at all to the turns right now. If you did grinding before coming down here, which you should, they give you that place with the save point for a reason, then the fight's not particularly difficult. If you didn't grind though and you're fighting this guy at level 6, it can be pretty tricky. Because of the Spanish, they supplied weapons to you? Well, we don't need the Spanish to supply weapons to us. At this point, that's kind of irrelevant. Don't slow her. Can you f please, for the love of God, successfully steal from this thing? Eventually, I believe he curls up, or that might be the one we fight later. Can you stop hitting her? That would, that would greatly be appreciated. Moving. <laughs> Just read what she typed there. Should we give Marcus a Spectre, even though we can't name him? Spectre already has someone, doesn't he? Oh, there's the poison. Which we can remove. For the love of God, Marcus. We may end up killing this guy before we actually finish stealing from him. Because Marcus is just literally the worst thief I think I've ever seen. I believe Spectre got Queen of, yeah. Who is actually a very good character. Did I get the Mythal Fork? I believe I did. He's actually a very good character if you teach him magic, but I haven't been doing that because I'm lazy. So, he's kind of useless. Spectre is a he-she, yes. And it's leaving. Well, there is a timer on that battle. I think there's a timer on that battle because they anticipated you being level 7 to 8. Which makes the battle fairly difficult, but you get stuff for killing it. It's not too much of an issue. I was mostly just trying to steal from this stupid thing, but apparently that's not going to happen. Teach me magic or I'll rematch you, you bra. No. Primarily because you keep talking about a rematch as if you have any chance, and you typed bra. Which is like a immediate no. Oh, I remember what's going on now. So this happens, and then we go back to the other team and head to uh, Sand Tree of Sandiness, I believe. Which has one of the stupidest boss fights I think I've ever seen.
Adamantium spoon. Wait, Hall! It's a trap! We can hear your stories later. Let's go, Hall! Oh. Oh. Good job, Hall. You could have easily just left, but now you have to sit there and yell at Marcus. Now we have to listen to Zorn and Thorn be dingleberries. You're all under arrest. Oh. Not bad. If we just let Akasha tell her story, maybe we wouldn't be standing here in the trap room of trappiness. <laughs> I think I think the shut up hall thing is literally never going to stop at this point. Go and look up what Dingleberry means. You should! It's quite the insult. It's an interesting insult, because it's it's really quite bad to be called a dingleberry. But really no one uses it seriously. You know, Queenie, you should probably not have your tongue flopped out all the time. You please do not eat the tree. Excuse me. Off we go. To adventure! Oh, Akasha! Adventure! Wait, no. That's just because no one cares if you're alright. It's alright. You're fine, don't worry. Alright, so from here we go west, and it should be basically right around the corner. In fact, there it is already, except we're going to have to do random encounters on the way, none of which I believe are very difficult. But it has been a while since I played, so... Ow. Oh, hello, friend. Your carriage will have butcher's axes. The problem is we end up with, like, weird parties like this, where we have effectively two people that are worthless. What is that? I don't know. He's done something. I dislike it. Maybe these guys are beefier than I recall. They appear to be fairly beefy. There we go. Probably weak to fire? No. Probably weak to thunder. Probably weak to actually being hit with weapons. Probably a reasonable thing to assume. like weird parties, you meet the best people. I like optimal parties. You meet the best people. It's my preferred way. Hey, oh, Away, away. We learned Dragon Killer. So that's exciting, I suppose. They're weak to ice and thunder. Figured they were weak to something like that because, you know, kind of water affinity kind of thing. Welcome to Clara, and all of its pixelated glory. That tree is freaking out. Look at it go. Good god. It's not affecting our clothing at all, but that tree is just having a heck of a party. By the gods, look at the tree. Wiki Kasha strikes again. Look at this sweet cinematic.
The flicker is weird, but I know why it's doing that. It flickers once when it loads in the character model, because it's an entirely different engine. Then it flickers again when it swaps to the game. Just it's weird. Push it open! Oh. Okay. I love the fact that they give you an option to try to do that. Uh, there's a lot of treasure in this place, some of which I don't remember how to get to, some of which I don't care about. You also go through this area twice, so if you miss something... Magician shoes. If you miss something, you can come back through and grab it later. I think some of it you may have to come back through and grab it later. Clear-headed MP. Interestingly, Moomin can't learn that. And blind. What is clear-headed? I don't know. Not without putting it on. Uh, you can learn MP plus 10. And so can you, and you would probably benefit from it, so... Probably learn Bird Killer for you. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Alright. Do you already have the walkthrough up? Suddenly encounter! Suddenly Spectre quoting partial sentences. Also this guy, whom I hate desperately. I desperately hate him. That's not exactly what I intended to do there. We have to hit the core, in the face. The core does in fact have a tiny face on it, it's really weird looking. I don't remember if you can kill it by hitting the core. I think it may be required, or it just goes on the ground and then you have to beat the crap out of it. Also it's countering. Also, Spectre might be dead. Yep, Spectre's dead. Counters every hit. It's counter magic. Ooh. Doesn't appear like it. Oh, he does, in fact, counter magic. He just counters everything, alright? Do we need to hit him, knock him down, and then hit the core? Is that how that fight works? Can't remember. I remember him getting knocked down, though. Why well, do you have to hit him and knock him down? Either way, we need to get Spectre's useless bum back up. Gonna have to use a Phoenix down, which I have 11 of. And then some potions, which I have many of, thankfully. That sound, however, is awful. Spectre's one-line typing, however, is also pretty awful. Uh, I think there's something up this way we can get. I've had that double-sided sword for a while. Or is this the, uh, this is when you fill it up with sand. I believe you can fight birds out here. The, uh, like, Garuda-style giant birds out here. Keeps you from dazed or something. You can also fight these, which are mantis, except flying and also back attack. Oh, how I wish that LB button wasn't broken. Nice dodge. I'm just gonna run from that because I can't be bothered. It prevents confusion. Makes sense. Chill out there, Spectre. When does this place fill up with sand? I can't remember. Is it after we reach the top? Examine hole. Put hand into hole. We put hand into hole. Oh, hey, it does fill up now. Who knows? Sand. What do? And now we go up here. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. Ma ha 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 ha. That's the official laughter, by the way, of the uh, Sleepy and Co. soundtrack. Needle fork. 
basically a fork has multiple needles, so sure, whatever. Can I tell you what to do? No. By I, I mean hole. Nice bad box. Uh, we may as well save. Fork some kind of special item? No, they're uh, Queena's weapon. Now let's do the other method of this and hit the body and see if we can knock it down. Because I remember something about knocking it down. It's also the first target when you bring up the attack list, so... I do know you have to hit the... The ruby to kill it, though. Nice miss on a giant sand golem. Somehow. I wish I could cancel queued attacks, because now Spectre's just going to hit the body, which is going to do a whole lot of nothing. Let the body hit the floor, yes. This seems to be the intended method, because it can't counter unless you hit the weird, twisty ruby on the inside. Look at that thing go, man. It's wiggling. Oh, don't get back up. I'm about to hit you again. Oh, that's it. These fights aren't worth the effort. They don't give that much XP. And they take ages. Unless you can one-shot the guy, which... That's way over-leveled kind of territory at that point. I'm just gonna take the counter hits. All looks to it. It should be close enough to dying at some point. I say as it proceeds to then not die many times over. Eventually, there we go. Twisty Ruby thing looks like Forever Alone Guy. It has a face! It's a weird looking enemy. Hey, gave me a potion. Time to use multiple potions to heal. Excuse me. Very burpy. I seem to consistently be very burpy. Uh, immobilizing the sand golem. Do do do. Golem every period of time uses the fire spell. Do do do. Yep, that's basically what I surmised, Akasha. Hello, Sir Lyle. I didn't even realize who typed that. Uh, we may as well fight these since we're kinda here. Sure, why not? I'm gonna cast Thunder, because, sure. Everyone calls him Shadow. I don't think anyone has ever properly typed his name at any point so far. I am a genius. You are correct. I am a genius. Also, Spectre's not deserved. Uh, I don't want to use magic again. He should die before he gets a turn. So I think Spectre should be in. Yeah, there we go. Perfecto! She is a guide in a tab. Akasha is one of the tabs on my Chrome browser. Basically operates like a, a GameFAQs guide. Except it more liberally shouts at me. And this is the point where there's chests on like off paths and I don't really bother half of the time. Flame Staff? I think we already have one, don't we? What happened to the other 104,000? That's not 104,000. 10,400,000. Also, we are now fighting these. The enemies in these games, man. Uh... I really should just solo target the off target, off enemy, off hitter. I don't know. 
I'm gonna go off target. I should really single target spells on the off target. There you go, that's what I was going for. Because it'll end up doing this anyway. Your old account didn't want to work. Was it a uh, Justin TV account? Because a lot of Justin TV accounts appear to be dropping frames. Also, OBS's bitrate is like the worst constant bitrate I think I've ever seen. Because it's not constant in the slightest. I dropped five frames. I think you guys will live. What was I saying? Oh yeah, a lot of tw uh, Justin TV accounts never swapped properly to Twitch. I'm not sure why. I think they said you could like contact support or something, but there's some desert boots. And freaking Justin TV accounts drop frames. Yeah, they have a lower priority on the back end of the servers. Servers. I'm just gonna auto attack these. Not really auto attack, but you know what I mean. What's Justin TV? All right. I think Moomin just leveled there. It's TV for Justin. It's uh, it's my neighbor's my neighbor's TV show. Um, I was looking at Gil. We have ten thousand. I think there's a third chest in here, but I'm just gonna go this way. I'm getting a random encounter. I honestly don't want to fight this guy. Look at that sad face on that ruby in the center. I so wish... It's... Xbox 360 controllers seem to have, like, the worst... quality control I've ever seen. I mean, their D-pad's awful. That's a known fact. But they seem to always have defects in relatively short periods of time. Like, my LB, my uh, left bumper doesn't work worth a crap. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, even though I think we're right next to town. Uh, that is, in fact, not the direction I was supposed to go. It was the left side that I'm supposed to go. My apologies, game. There we go. Xbox 360 controllers are awesome. See, there's the other chest. I'm gonna get through that. Either way. I'll do it for now. They're... They're not actually that good. I hate these, by the way. Oh, for God's sake. It's, you can't control which direction he's facing it, he just kind of jumps out willy-nilly. You've had your for five years and never a problem. Uh, alright. That doesn't mean they have good quality control. Because they don't. You know what? If I can get out of here, I'll take that as a victory. There we go. Against the, the tyranny of the chests. We're leaving. I'm tired of mashing my X button. I think, is there like a button on the support page that you can transfer the account, or do you just talk to support and they're like, okay. It kinda does? No, it doesn't. Quality control is mass. <laughs> you having a controller is irrelevant. I wish you hadn't tranced in this battle. Because that's worthless. I've gone through four controllers. I've known many other people that have issues with the quality on 360 controllers. What's Justin TV? It's Justin TV. This is Twitch TV. What do you think Justin TV is? It's a very simplistic naming scheme they use. May as well grab this. I kind of wish... I had not gone for that. Eat it before it eats you. 